in this video I will be continuing the Netland Archon quest. The Netland Archon quest is getting quite interesting right now. But I got these redemption codes for Primo Gems. So, uh, another pool here. <laughs> That's good. I'll check how much longer this is. I have nine days left to do it. So last time in the Archon Quest, we were fishing for, well, we were like doing something with the Abyss to try and find Kachina's ancient name to rescue her, but there was also another person who was also trying to find his friend's ancient name, but he didn't manage to find it. So there's a Pyroculus up here. So now I need to bring Kachina's ancient name to Malvika. There's a capybara here. I'll claim my expedition rewards first, and then I'll continue the young conquest. And I'll do my daily stuff. So, Malvika is over here. Is she in the speaker's chamber? She is. She is talking to we found Kachina's this one. Name too. What happened at the stadium? Well, it's fairly complicated. Let me give you the condensed version. You learn of the Pyrocon's battle against the captain. The Fatui again? As well we as... can't go anywhere without them causing trouble. Wait, why can't I? Isn't this usually how you see previous things? Why wouldn't it let me do it? But what if the Fatui finds out you've lost your power? Won't they try to take advantage of the situation? 
You learn of the Pyrokon's battle against the captain, as well as her sacrifice. <laughs> That's why it has to be our little secret. No one else can know, or we're asking for trouble. Look, I wish I could offer you some sort of consolation, but I won't lie to you. With multiple factions closing in, there's nothing comforting about the situation we're facing. Still, all you need to do is focus on your goal. You can leave the complicated matters to me. I can also step in on the Pyro Archon's behalf. There's a limit to what I can accomplish, but I'll help you however I can. <laughs> There's no need to be so modest, Yansan. Your incredible strength has long been a well-known fact. You're the pride of your tribe. Archon, I... I'm sorry about before. You have so much on your plate. So much that you have to worry about. But all I could do was focus on my own feelings. You have nothing to be sorry about. We all get overwhelmed by our emotions, myself included. Your reaction to Kachina's disappearance, I... I understand that feeling very well. Well, now that we have Kachina's ancient name, let's go track her down. Follow me. Malvika seems like a very good Archon. Is this? You haven't seen this place before. What is this place? Hey, isn't that Atea's talisman? <laughs> Good eye. This is where I store all the various mementos I've collected. Wow. I've never seen this place before. There's so many things in here. It looks like there are items from every tribe. Collecting them must have taken a lot of effort. I suppose you could think of it as a hobby of sorts. In Natlan, everyone grows up listening to the stories of heroes. And physical items do a far better job of preserving those stories than our own memory. <sighs> now... I still have some preparations to make for the ceremony, so feel free to take a look around in the meantime. If you're curious about an item, I'm more than willing to tell you about its origins. Alright, we'll have a look! I can talk to them all. Yansan. Make sure to handle everything with care. This cup, for example, it's heavier than it looks. I really like the designs of these characters. Jessica. This flower looks like it's thriving. You must be good at taking care of plants, Arkan. They just call her Archon. They call her Archon. Was this from the people of the springs? So where is this? Wait, is that a... I think that's an abyss mage. Up there. Where I'm pointing to. Why do they have an abyss mage map thing, or oh, whatever it is? Observe fishing equipment. Hey, there's a fishing rod here. It must have belonged to the people of the springs. That's right. It belongs to a legendary fisherman named Matavaru. I have his entire set of fishing equipment, actually. He and I met in a tavern. He told me about a particular kind of giant fish, and his meticulous plan to catch it. In his eyes, I saw 
a hunger and a strong fighting spirit. To him, the sea was the battlefield upon which he staked his honor. So, did he do it? The next time I saw him, he was covered in scars. It turned out the fish he sought had been corroded by the abyss. Oh no. He managed to kill the fish, but sustained a serious injury in the process, which meant he could never go deep sea fishing again. So there's abyss fish as well? Can a fisherman claim victory if he fails to bring back his catch? That's what he asked me in the end. Well, Paimon thinks he won. That was my answer as well. The experience was far more valuable than the prize itself. In the end, he didn't want his tools to go to waste, so he gave them to me. Wait, that means you also know how to fish. <laughs> Maybe we can go head to head sometime. That sounds fun. Fishing with the Archon. Can I observe the other stuff? Observe Talisman. The fishing rod left behind by the legendary fisherman Matavaru. If the sea were a battlefield, this would have been his sword. I think this is the children of the children. Children of Echoes. And maybe this is the scions of the canopy. Can I see anything here? Observe talisman. This is a Teus talisman. I'm sure you're familiar with this one already. Atea was rarely ever without it. The talisman brought her a lot of luck in battle. Observe jar. There are so many jars and potions around here. Do they have anything to do with alchemy? No, those belong to the masters of the Nightwind. Their ceremonial tools used to amplify the ability to communicate with the Night Kingdom and the Wyab. They communicate with the Night Kingdom? Yamaya is an expert in this field, and she taught me a lot. Even though she appears stoic and serious, she actually has a keen sense of humor. I thought they... I thought the Night Kingdom belonged to the Abyss. The tools you see here are quite traditional. Her students found them outdated, so she passed them on to me. Or well, if the Abyss just stolen the Night Kingdom? The contents of the jars aren't all that special. Oh, uh, except the big jar in the middle. That's what you really wanted to give me. Ooh, must be something really cool! What's inside? Grape juice. Huh? <laughs> it's quite tasty, although probably expired by now. Is it meant for drinking? <laughs> Observe. What is this one? Ceremonial tool left by Yamaya. As well as the somewhat out of place jar of grape juice. Paimon probably would have given it a try if it wasn't. if she wasn't scared it was expired. Observe belt. Whoa, that belt is bigger than Paimon's head! The Collective of Plenty are known for their bodybuilding competitions and contests of strength. This belt is a symbol of great honor within the tribe. The association with strength might also have been the reason the original belt was extremely heavy. 
<laughs> it was difficult for even two people to lift. And even if a warrior had the strength to put it on, wearing it for any length of time would still leave them gasping for breath. Sounds like it. So the owner of the original belt, Katera, commissioned a craftsman to make a copy identical in appearance but far lighter in weight. That is the belt you see before you. He would often wear this version when training in order to protect his waist. Or he made a lighter version so he could wear it all the time and show it off. That makes sense. <laughs> Is there anything else to see? Observe weapon. Whoa, this weapon is huge! Which tribe did it belong to? Ah, that weapon belonged to Tainoch, a that? hero from 500 years ago. Strictly speaking, he didn't belong to any single tribe. Is that Morvika's family? You'll probably mention that at some point. That's because even before the disaster with the Abyss broke out, he had already been exiled. Exiled? It was a punishment imposed out of necessity, but he accepted it all the same. He believed it was what he deserved. When the Abyss attacked, the tribes found themselves in urgent need of a powerful figure to lead them into the battle, and there was no one more courageous or resolute than him. He united the six tribes and accomplished great feats throughout the war. Ultimately, he perished. And because he had already lost his ancient name, the Ode of Resurrection was unable to bring him back. And so, he was laid to rest, alongside the countless warriors and civilians who lost their lives, buried in the soil of his native land. Wow, he sounds like a true hero. <laughs> Indeed, even now his story is told throughout the land. That's, that's sad. So this must be Movika's family, maybe. <laughs> That's a cute photo with the Yumkasaurus. Okay, I'll speak to her now. The powder still needs some time to settle. So let's wait a little longer. Well, what do you think of my collection? Do you feel like you have a better understanding of Natland's culture now? represents a different story, seems like Natland's really been through a lot. Does every item hold a special memory, just like Atea's talisman? That's right. The items in my collection actually serve a similar purpose to the ancient names passed down among the tribes. They demonstrate the true shape of time. The shape of time? Most people perceive time as a linear concept, almost like a straight line that can only move forward. We cannot change the past or predict the future. But there's also a different theory, one that I believe to be closer to the truth. Namely, that the past, present, and future all exist at once. Let's say your journey ended right now. Thinking back on your experience in each nation, which one would you say was the most important? I'd have to say all of them. Exactly. Even at the end of your journey, the things you experienced along the way don't cease to exist. They become part of who you are. Take out a portion of that journey, and you would likely make very different decisions, and eventually arrive at a very different destination. The future is the same way. It exists even though it has yet to come to pass. We just lack the means to perceive it. Of course, there are those with the power to foresee the future. 
They simply call it by a different name. Fate. <laughs> You're quite familiar with that concept, I would imagine. Uh, that does kind of make sense. The future hasn't happened, but already exists. Humanity excels at living in the present, but too often we forget the past and neglect the future. So ancient names record the past. While the pilgrimage and the night warden wars lead us to a better future. Only by uniting the people of Natlan across countless eras can we fight back against an enemy as formidable as the Abyss. To come up with such a set of rules, the first Pyro Archon must have possessed a level of insight I can only imagine. So the first Pyro Archon created the rules of Netlin? That's correct. At first, he was a mortal man with no special power. After he ascended to the Divine Throne, he used it to borrow power from the heavens and establish the rules of Natlan. Namely, a framework through which ordinary people can ascend to Archonhood. The Heavenly Principles? By holding the pilgrimage, we're able to determine the strongest among us. And when that person ascends to the Divine Throne, their inner flame will awaken. In addition, the Sacred Flame will grant them significant knowledge and memory of this land. After all, that's how I came to know everything I just told you. So, it all comes down to the power of the Divine Throne and the rules. Wait, is that a family portrait? I noticed that before too. <laughs> yes. That's my mother, father, younger sister, and the little Saurians we raised. Oh, this is very cute. I really like this image. I turned a piece of my dad's leather armor into a canvas and commissioned a famous artist to paint our likeness. Your sister is so cute! It looks like the two of you are really close. I'm always having a hard time thinking of an Archon as an ordinary person, but seeing this portrait, it kind of makes sense now. It really doesn't look like there was anything special about you before. Oh, wait, is Paimon allowed to say that? A little late for that question, don't you think? Paimon's just insulting her. <laughs> insulting the Archon. Sorry! Paimon's so sorry! Paimon's mouth works faster than her brain sometimes! That's true. <laughs> it's alright. I'd never get upset over something like that. No matter what others may say, my past is a precious part of my identity. I'm forever proud of the life I used to lead. Becoming the Archon doesn't mean you sever ties with your family. The position just comes with a lot of responsibilities, so it impacts how often you get to see them. My father made the most delicious stew, so my sister would often bring me a large pot of his cooking, and we would sit on a blanket and eat it together. One time, we didn't close the door securely, and the Saurians you were raising ran into the room and knocked over the entire pot. My sister immediately burst into tears. The two troublemakers were going for the meat, but when they saw my sister's distress, they froze on the spot. I'll save the sister from now. I still remember the way they laid there, sulking like a pair of children, even after making such a mess. It was frustrating, but in the end, all I could do was comfort my sister and move on. Wow. You forgave them just like that? Isn't that what being a family is all about? <laughs> I think about that story a lot, actually. As the Archon, I made a vow to defend this nation, and experiences like that, they remind me exactly what I'm trying to protect. Well, what happened after that? This portrait looks pretty old. Your sister must be all grown up by now, right? 
I believe she ended up working as an architect and artist. She built many Coffee. houses and crafted many beautiful works of art. Just like Cave. Anyway, that's enough about me. Now that the powder is settled, we can begin. Iansa, mm. Mulani, Chaska, over here, please. Place the ancient name up there, and then we'll begin. Is this gonna bring me to the Night Kingdom? Wait, I can stand inside it. I don't think I'm supposed to be standing in it. Place Gachina's ancient name. As the echoes of life resound through heaven and earth, so too shall our stories remain eternal. Ancient name, take us to your fated bearer. Allow her to answer our call. Kachina, there she is. <gasps> Kachina, are you okay? Huh? I, I'm not seeing things, am I? Is, is the abyss playing tricks on me again? No, it's really us. It's okay, Kachina. It's just us. We're trying to find a way to bring you back. Everyone, you have to listen to me. I've been investigating the Night Kingdom this entire time, and I figured out what's wrong. The Wyab is being affected by the Abyss! I was waiting for the Wyab to send me back, but then this really strong monster came in and almost killed me! The Wyab saved me, even though its power is weakening, so I've been hiding from the monsters while trying to find a way to help. The Night Kingdom has become a huge mess, though. I keep hearing these awful sounds and seeing really horrible things. Let's... Don't listen to those sounds, Kachina. The well, Abyss is trying to strip you of your sanity. We'll save you, though. All you need to do is stay safe and wait for us. We'll be there shortly. It's okay. I feel so much better now that I've had the chance to talk to you guys. You don't need to worry about me. I've never been strong or special at all, really. So I don't blame anyone for forgetting about me or leaving me behind. Just knowing you care is more than enough. We haven't forgotten about you. I'll find a way back. You don't have to put yourselves in danger to come rescue me. You're always like this, Kachina. Now's not the time to act tough. We're coming for you, and that's final. I don't know what lies the Abyss has been feeding you, but I'll tell you something right now. Nobody here sees you as a burden. You're a victor of the Night Warden Wars, a hero of Natlan. All you need to do is wait for us to rescue you, and you'll get all the applause and recognition you deserve. That's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm really scared. Everything's so dark and creepy here. We'll save you, Kachina. Still, I don't want you to put yourself in danger because of me. I don't want to hold anyone back ever again. But no, we All are you coming. Need to do is place your trust in us, just like you always have. No one fights alone. We're not leaving you behind. Not ever. Yeah, we're so close. We can't call it quits now. Oh no, she's despairing. Looks like we've lost contact. Now comes the most dangerous part. You have to traverse the Night Kingdom in your physical form. This entrance to the Night Kingdom was left behind after an abyssal invasion. Even a brief amount of time inside could expose you to corrosion. I know. 
I'm prepared for that possibility. All right. Then I wish you all the best. I'll tell Koichi to be ready just in case she's very experienced in dealing with abyssal corruption. That face you just made. Don't tell me you two got into another argument. No, I just... feel bad for creating more work for her. I'll go with them too, Archon. The more people, the stronger the party. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. It really means a lot that you're willing to brave these dangers with me. There's no time to lose, so let's get going. Now that I've lost my power, I won't be able to provide much practical support. But I can still keep an eye on the situation from here. Eon-san, I know it's unlikely, but if you encounter a situation you can't handle... That won't happen. I hope not. Is Yansan really strong? Be careful out there. I'll observe the situation from here. Into the underground ruins. Also, oh, it's just back here. So we're here. Down there, it seems. Oh, there's a domain here. this domain next episode because I'm running out of time now and I don't know how long it's gonna be well there's there's the bubbles down here these are the bubbles that we have in Sumo. Why are they here? You get chests and stuff from I dropped it. Quick, pick it up. Carving waves. Some more. Ow. I didn't mean to hit the capybara, sorry. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit him. I'm hitting everything. <laughs> Interesting place. What's this? Do I want to touch it? I don't think I do. Not yet, at least. some of the event 
so I don't run out of time for it. Where is this? It's down here, it seems. Yes, I did. Shall I fight these ones? I don't need to. Let's round them up. Oh. Ow! Hey, Wait, I'm almost now. dead. That was one attack, and I'm almost <laughs> dead. this <laughs> where's the paroculus I think I s 300 more entry fee. It's free if I beat you, right? <laughs> hey, that's not how we normally do things. The price is set by the Syrian Relics Association and cannot be negotiated. As far as I know, this is already the cheapest excavation site and it's been open the longest. But nowadays, we sometimes get dreamers like you who want to try their luck. After all, you never know, maybe none of the hundreds of thousands of people who've come here before you have a good eye for treasure, and Mr. Priceless Relic that only looks ordinary. Many would pay 300 more for such a beautiful dream. So, how lucky are you feeling? Do you believe you'll be the one to strike rich? Roo, roar, roar, roar! My luck's never run out. Let me tell. I don't need that. I've got a lucky Surian. Feel like putting your luck to the test patches. Roar! He definitely looks up for it. And that's what free. And what's 300 more anyway? Paimon can handle that. Being able to buy free rays of hope for that sum is quite a. kind of a steal, really. Then I wish you all the best of luck. This is an excavation site. Just some radishes. Wait, what's this? Oh, Pet just found something. Oh, uh, we haven't found anything at all. Oh, okay. Oh, Patch is it? Oh no, he's stuck. Oh, this is cute. Patch is actually follows me. What actually is this? We just made a sound. Oh, we came up. Some more. A cage. Crystal beetle. Oh, he's attacking this. It's a rock. How 
do I break it? Just a uh, Syrian. We oh, found something. What is it? There's nothing here. I guess we there. Yeah. So it's basically no different. I don't think we're gonna find anything good. Is this a uh, wall I can break? No, it's not. Unless. Patches will come. I mean, patches come here. Oh, it just gives those things the flogger Another crystal beetle. There's a uh... need a surfboard. Raw, oh, it looks like the gadget used some kind of mechanism. Thanks, pictures. Blocked by something and cannot be opened. Do I need? I think I need one of the things, the Syrians. Stamina. <coughs> this is annoying to climb up. Yes, I was correct. Ow, I almost hit myself. Infused with Flogaston. Sounds like something is activating. Shout behind you. to get out of him. The damage is quite bad. Just patch 
chess fights too. <laughs> Raw. This little ball looks kind of like a component or something. You like it? Raw, raw. Though we didn't dig it up, since we did find it here, it might be something really valuable. Let's ask when we leave. There's a precious chest here. I think this, this is the, where I was before. How did it go? Why is it such a weird angle? just found this. It was like... <laughs> Raw. Let me have a look. Not the most uncommon item, but still a rare find. It's very well preserved, with clearly visible phlogiston flow patterns. Yes, would you be willing to part with it if I gave you 10,000 more? What? Did we really find a priceless Syrian relic? My mom just knew that Petrus was awesome, and would bring us good luck. No, this isn't nearly as precious as you seem to think. Were you... were you to take it to the association headquarters for appraisal, it'd clock, it, clock in at around 5,000 more at most. My mom's not falling for that trick. If it's only worth 5,000, why are you willing to pay 10,000 for it? That's because of the unique patterns in art. I'm quite taken with them. Though it may not be that valuable in the eyes of others, I'm willing to pay a bit extra for it. You may call me eccentric, but you could also say it's just the nature of a collector. Hmm, when you put it like that, Paimon gets you. And 10,000 is quite a lot, compared to the entrance fee. So, shall we trade it in for 10,000? Roar, roar! You don't seem to worry about it, that patches. Do you want to keep it for yourself? Ra roar! Well, you were the one who found it. Guess you want to be a collector too, huh? Since patches doesn't want to sell it, then we'll just have to keep it. Roar! Looks like your value... You value patches far more than more. Naturally, he's our companion, after all, but if we find something similar in the future... Thank you, but a collector's passion is as fickle as the tides. It, it rises and suddenly... as suddenly as it might retreat. Perhaps I'll find myself obsessing over something else in the future, though I can't yet say what my new interest will be. Roar, roar, roar. Are you agreeing with her, Patches? Oh, Paimon gets it. This must be the mutual respect and understanding shared by collectors. It's my honour to have been acknowledged by such a brilliant young Tepetlosaurus. Still, even if we can't do business, that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Feel free to come find me if you ever want to talk about collecting. I won't keep you any longer then. Good luck. And I get 30 Prima Gems for that. Oh, there's the Pyroxus. Ones. 
Ooh, I actually need to take a photo of these. Team. So I can get the wall easy. Much faster to get up with her. I changed my exploration team again. Go say hi. Right, I'll get this pyro first. <laughs> erupting. Oh, I missed it. That's sad. I sort of saw it erupting though. though. Mm -hmm. uh, fancy bumping into the two of you again. And, and none other than the, the finest scenic spot that the people of Springs has to offer. Not only that, 
This place is universally recognised as one of the most stunning sights in the whole southern netland. The azure blue of the vast expanse of water, the lush green of the mountain vegetation, intertwined with the intense fiery hues of the phlogiston, simply breathtaking, and a masterclass intro to colour contrast too. Dopey Dazzler, pretty fast on your feet, huh? No use lecturing us on colour theory yet, though. <laughs> we still won't get it. Do you know the people of the springs well? You must have visited many times before. Well, core members of the Graffiti Alliance technically take it their mission to travel to every corner of Netland familiarising themselves with the culture and customs of all the different tribes. A while back now, the people of the springs hired us to spray paint their water sports gear. It was a very large order, so I had to stay here for quite some time. They paid us very well though, so to return the favour, I decided it was only fair I made the design I sprayed onto each and every one of their water sports products totally unique. In the end, after two months of slogging away, I'd only finished less than ha huh, less than five percent of the total. My hands were so sore that they felt like they were about to fall off, and my brain had totally crashed. That sounds like hard work. And to make matters worse, new products were constantly being churned out. If things kept going the way they were, I'd never have been able to finish the job. A unique design for every single individual water sports product? But there are water sports product products everywhere at the People of Springs. You couldn't even count them if you tried. That goal was totally crazy. Even if you had 20 dopey dazzlers on the job, you'd still struggle. Why would you put that much pressure on yourself? Yes, well, in the end, we came to realise that our clever client from the People of Springs proposed a more cost-effective solution instead. The new plan was that we would come up with a single batch of graffiti designs, create stencils based on the designs, specify the colours required, and then roughly mark out where they needed to be sprayed. Then the client's own people would spray the designs onto a large batch of water sports equipment themselves, following our instructions of course. Wow, that sounds like a great idea. It wouldn't require a lot of manpower, so it'd save heaps of time and effort. Plus, you wouldn't even need to go to the trouble of training them up. Is this also some kind of avant-garde production philosophy? Hmm, yes. I suppose you could say that. Of course, in an ideal world, it would have all been done by hand. But we're not that inflexible. If it helps our art reach a wider audience, we shouldn't force ourselves to stick, stick rigidly to principles of pure handicraft. What's that bird? I haven't seen that before. Anyway, all in all, I'm full of awe and admiration for our friends at the People of the Springs. What's coming to us? They think on their feet, and they're always full of ideas. As a water sports shop owner named Mulani, who also happens to be one of the tribe's renowned warriors, spent a few days with us learning graffiti. Overflowing with enthusiasm and talent, that one, it wasn't long at all before she was producing bona fide artwork to decorate her surfboard with. Now I come to think of it, she's the perfect role for you guys. From the sound of it, as long as you've the necessary commitment and the motivation, then graffiti over a short period of time isn't completely impossible then. But Sugar, we need to up our game. We'll have to find some good materials and get the grip get to grips with this avant garde mindset ASAP. Paman can't wait to start doodling all of her favourite objects too, eh? Sounds like what we need is a crash course in graffiti. About time we jazzed up some of our own gear too. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. You're finally coming round. Well, I'll say no more. Only this. Open your eyes, clear your mind, 
Soak up the incredible scenery around you. Look for anything that captures your imagination and inspires creativity. Anything. Lines, shapes, colours, and with that in mind, sally forth. I guess that means do this. I think those are bad. I shouldn't hit them. <laughs> Coins. Oh no, and I fell. Oh, now it's this. Apparently, you can also use Milani. I should try that. <laughs> too soon. What's this? though. I'll claim my commission wards. And I'll continue the Yakon quest in the next video. And I'll heal my team here. the video and I hope you enjoyed goodbye